Hi, welcome to Amoeba Berkeley. This is the very first Amoeba store, opened in 1990, uh, just three blocks south of the UC Berkeley campus. This was always a mecca for record stores, so we came right in and opened what we hoped would be the greatest record store that ever lived. The building has an incredible history. First it was a Lucky Supermarket, uh, built in 1927, and in the late 50s it was converted into a coffee shop uh, called The Forum, which was one of the two famous coffee shops on our block during the beatnik days. The riots were in the late 60s, but there was a lot of political activity going on throughout the 60s in this area, and a lot of it was fermented uh, in uh, The Forum and uh, down the street. The, famous Cafe Med, which opened in 1957. The Forum only lasted until uh, the early 70s when it was taken over by a famous kind of hippie cult called the One World Family, who occupied this building and offered uh, the community some of the first ever uh, sprout sandwiches on a whole wheat bread and all that kind of stuff. They had painted interesting murals all over the walls in here, some of which are still underneath uh, a lot of our walls. We didn't want to paint over them because they were real artifacts, kind of long-haired hippie aliens coming in on spaceships to enlighten humanity as to uh, what was really important and how to live and all that kind of stuff. I, I can't really speak to it. I have these amazing prints, which I'll try to dig up, uh, of Sun Ra playing inside this store, but he did two residencies in this store when it was the One World Family Cookery in uh, the 70s. And after that place closed, uh, it was like a Mexican restaurant for many years. In fact, when I first came to Telegraph, uh, in 1980, uh, that Mexican restaurant was uh, one of my favorite places to eat. Uh, the building also famously has uh, the People's Park mural on the side of it, which has been there since the early 70s. And it kind of, in a narrative way, depicts uh, the history of People's Park, which is right up the street from here. Part of why people love coming to Telegraph is the sense of history. The cafes, Moe's Books is across the street. It's the greatest used bookstore anywhere and one of the first ever used bookstores in the country. The history of cafe culture and books and records is huge. When I first got here in 1980, there were seven record stores just on this strip. We wanted to open where people were already going for records. So the only places we looked for a location were right near other record stores that were uh, happening. This was absolutely the greatest zone for records probably in the U.S. Uh, at the time. Every store had its own specialties, but anyone who was into records could come down here and shop for records all day, no problem. We had a total of 6,000 used CDs, about 6,000 used LPs, and about 4,000 new CDs when we opened. That was our total inventory. Uh, but we had a lot of good stuff. Whoever opened the doors found that there was a huge line at our front door waiting for this virgin inventory. Uh, which is hard to believe when you consider we now have probably a million new CDs. The fact that we had 6,000 new CDs was so exciting that uh, all these uh, people were waiting in line. There's a line going down the street. There was such an avid uh, community of record collectors in Berkeley proper that we're still to this day buying LPs, 45, stuff that you just hardly ever see come in used is still coming into this store. That's what this store is born from, just that kind of inspiration that we can see in people's eyes when they find stuff that they love. I mean, what else can you sell that where the product is actually a piece of art and people are gonna love it and it's only 10 bucks or five bucks or whatever. It's just a, it's a great product to be involved in uh, sharing with people. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man.